Hello, you're watching Got Space Game, and it's time for DCS and 3 or less. Today we're in the F-15E Strike Eagle, showing you how to drop laser-guided bombs. We're carrying the GBU-12 500-pound bomb, and we're going to auto-laser with the Lantern targeting pod. Let's begin. Check that the laser arm light is lit. If not, jump into the back cockpit and turn it on. Everything else is in the front cockpit. Bring up the targeting pod on your right-hand screen. On the left screen, let's set up the bombs. Menu, armament screen, air to ground. Select the racks with your GBU 12s on. Select auto mode, step to drop one bomb at a time, and nose tail fusing. Look at the targeting pod's lasing option. If it's currently set to M laser, we want to turn it to automatic lasing. We'll do that on the left screen. Go to AG delivery, program page, and cycle to manual, back to automatic. Note that the bomb and the targeting pod are now synchronised. Let's get the HUD on the left-hand screen with the nav flare so that we can keep our heads down in the cockpit. Still know what's going on. Set master arm on. Air to ground master mode. And we'll use our steering mode autopilot. You can cue the targeting pod to a steer point by selecting it in the scratch pad and then pressing the MFD option at the top of the targeting pod with either SP or a number in it. If it currently shows SP, you're in snowplow mode. And if it shows a number, that's the waypoint that's currently queued. Let's clear out the scratch pad and select waypoint 3, which is where our targets are. Castle switch right long to command the TGP. Auto acquisition switch forward to toggle field of view. And you can get a third level of digital zoom using the EXP button. And then auto acquisition forward again. Adjust brightness and contrast as needed. Our HSD is already set to auto sequence mode, so when we hit waypoint 1, we'll automatically steer onto waypoint 2. Our target is the middle aircraft from this row of three planes that we can just about make out. Auto acquisition press to designate. We're hitting waypoint 2 now, so the plane's going to bring itself onto the attack heading. We can just start to make out individual planes now, so I'm fine tuning the targeting so I hit the one that I want. Auto acquisition press to designate your target. Or with CDES boxed, the designation will automatically update as you slow the targeting pod. As we approach the target, we need to fly the aiming reticle over the bomb fall line. Time to release is shown on the HUD and the targeting pod. Keep adjusting and redesignating the targeting pod. Once you see the release cue, press and hold bomb release. As it crosses the flight path marker, the bomb will drop. Pickle. Note the flashing letter L shows that the laser is currently firing. Bank slightly to the left. Make sure to keep the targeting pod over your target. Toggle field of view as necessary. Note that the time to release has been replaced with a time to impact. Keep your airspeed low. Avoid masking the laser or overshooting the target too much. And there's our hit. I've been Dan, you've been watching DCS in 3 or less from Got Space Game. Hit that subscribe button for more 3 minute DCS tutorials covering all of your favourite modules.